Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I've got another animal tutorial for you. I'm getting flooded with requests, so I'm working my way through as many as I can. I have some other rocks that I'm working on as well, but just make sure you subscribe and you will hopefully see the rock that you have requested. Now I had a few people request a dash hound uh, dog. So I did the black and brown style. You can uh, morph this into whatever color combination that you want. I know there's all red ones, there's all brown ones, there's some that have longer hair and some that have shorter hair but I'm breaking this down shape by shape so if you watch the full tutorial you should be able to customize it to whichever kind you personally are looking to make so enjoy the tutorial give it a thumbs up you can leave more animals in the comments below I am creating a list and I will slowly work through them um, the more specific animals requested the higher chances it is that I'll get to it first so enjoy and I hope you give this tutorial a try Okay, so we've got another uh, viewer requested animal here. I'm running out of time in this month for doing animals. I will still try to get through more of your requests, um, but you know, I have other rocks to do as well. So we'll kind of bounce around. I'll continue to keep adding animals to the channel and try to make it through um, more of these animals we want. So uh, this guy is fun and pretty simple to do, again, once you have him broken down. So just like, you know, the classic look of this dog. We're gonna start by putting a hot dog shape right on our rock. Now I'm doing this one in black and brown. It's actually gonna be mostly black, but I'm doing my out outlines in brown because it's easier to go over brown with black than vice versa, um, at least depending on how long you wanna let it dry. So we've got the little hot dog shape going on here. It goes up a little bit by the tail and up a little bit by the neck, so it works out perfect. We're gonna go ahead and add on a couple feet down here. So we're just gonna come right off the back end. You have to give him a hip. They do have pretty short feet. So come down and then you're just gonna oval a foot on there, like so. And we're gonna have one that comes from behind the body as well. So straight down little leg back there and go ahead and just fill it in because these are gonna be brown anyways. A little oval for the foot back there. And then on the front end, we have to do the same thing. Now they've got, got a little bit of a chest that comes forward and then the leg will come down like so. Little oval on the foot. And then the chest will come forward just a little bit and we'll kind of sneak the other one back there with an outline, you'll be able to see them. So just like that. Now for the face, we're going to do the snout first. A nice long snout up to the big black nose we're going to add there. And then we're going to kind of come down and up like so. And then we're going to have the eyes go up to the top of the head. And those ears really flop down towards the body. They've got kind of a point to them, but they're very wide at the base, floppy ears like so, and then we'll attach the neck there, like that. So we've got our basic shapes on there. Now we can make adjustments. Oh, we forgot an important part here. Nice pointy, excited, wagging tail, right? On there, okay, so we've got our bases down. Um, as we add in some of the other colors, we'll make some definition and it will start to look more and more like the dog. Now I know there's a lot of variations of color, on these puppies. Um, see, I feel like my ear is not the right shape quite, more like that. So you can take this with your own creative direction based on what kind of dash hound you're trying to do. Um, some of them are black and brown, some of them are all brown, some of them are red, some of them have longer hair on them. So I'm just gonna start with the plain kind of basic black and brown one, and then you can kind of go from there and make it your own. So. I'm gonna start by placing down a little bit of the black areas here. So I'm gonna do his nose, like so up here. And then the top part of his nose is gonna be black. So I'm gonna kind of rough out that outline here. And we're gonna come right under where his eye will be. And we're gonna have his ear actually be black as well. So we can work on the shape of that. And there's nice floppy ears. And back around the top of the head. And I'm gonna make a line here, just so I remember I'm gonna get his eye on the back side there too, like so. 
And then I'm going to do the top part of his body will be black as well. So we'll go just along here. His feet will be brown. A little bit of the underside of the belly will be brown, like so. And then we'll have the black come down the leg a little bit. And you can have the underside of the tail be a little bit brown. You can just leave a bit of that outline. And the rest of the top of him be black. Neckline, we're gonna leave brown. And a little bit of the body up here too when we're, when we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna start by filling in these two sections, black and brown. I'll speed a little bit of this up. I'm just coloring in. I'm gonna do black in these spots and brown in the leftover places. Okay, I'm finishing up the first blocking out of color here. And as you see, when you get that brown here on the neck area, it will give him a bit more neck because this is the other shoulder kind of coming from behind. Now, we've got our basic colors down here and we're gonna do a little bit more embellishing to it and we're actually going to line even the black, uh, brown areas with black so that uh, it defines like the, the two front legs and things like that. So we're just gonna take our black and come on the underside of the tail, on the back of the leg, and around parts of the body like so. Ooh, that foot ended up really, f really fat looking. That's not correct. So we'll have to let that dry and then we'll fix that up a little bit. Now this foot is coming from the backside. So we want to be careful with that. The way to force it back is we're going to give the belly line, the bottom of the belly, like so. Okay. And then, then we're going to outline that foot in the back. Okay. And that pushes that to the back side of the dog. So we're going to do the same thing here on the front. The front leg will come right off of the belly like so, and now that back leg is pushed back to the back side of the dog, okay? So we're looking a little rough on this edge here, which depends on what kind of dog you have. You might want a rougher edge for some of the fur, and you may not, you might want a nice smooth coat. Some of them are just super sleek and smooth with that short hair. So I'm gonna come along here and clean up this line like so. And the back side of this head a little bit too. Okay, so now we're gonna get around the bottom part of our mouth. Now, depending on how uh, much expression you wanna give your dog, how far in a cartoony way you wanna take it, you could go along here and add a smile. You can pull this line back just a smidge past the chest to kind of give them that neckline and to give him a little bit of a smile, you would just come on here and just kind of pull. I kind of like to do those kind of things on my animals. I want them to be cute, happy little animals, okay? And then you can also add a couple little whisker dots, as long as your things flow in there, along its snout, like so. Okay, his nose got turned up there somehow. I'm not really sure how I did that. Maybe we'll add another line here along the top. I don't like that. There we go, better. All right, so now I wanna put down some white on the background here so that I can lay his eyes out. And then we'll kind of work on this back leg to see if we can fix that back foot a little bit. So we're gonna have one eye that's gonna hide behind the snout a little bit and we'll have the snout come back over it. And then the other eye in the front. So we'll give him two eye whites here. And I'll pull the little black in. We'll let that layer dry because I got a little bit of the black in there and then we'll do a second layer of white. And let's see, how are we gonna fix that spot? I've got an idea, I've gotta grab another pen though. Hold on a moment. I like to give animals places where they're hanging out sometimes. So we're gonna give him some grass like he's out in the yard. So just a quick way to sketch grass, a couple horizontal lines back and forth to create the ground layer, like so. And then you can have a few 
kind of bigger pieces like so. So I'm gonna fix my foot. I'm gonna make it a little bit, we need more of a leg space there and then we'll fill in with some more grass. So let's go with this black. I want the black to go to the rear all the way here. And then we're gonna pull like so. So that's the foot we want. So we gotta get rid of that little extra area there. And then we can have that black fur coming down the leg just a smidge, like so. The black color of the fur, just like that. So we're gonna get rid of that space in the back there by having some grass color popping up from behind. I'm just gonna fill it in. Keep standing in front of some grass. There we go. So we're gonna kind of take that grass all along here and then we can clean up his belly line. We can have a couple pieces coming in front and a couple pieces coming behind. A couple pieces that are a little longer. Just like so. So we, we can make mistakes. We can always fix our mistakes, okay? So once we get all this colored in, to go along the belly there. There you go, now he's got a skinnier back leg going on. All right, so I gotta let those whites dry. The last thing we gotta do is basically just give him his eyes. And oh, and, and a little eyebrows. They always have these little eyebrows. I'm gonna grab a skinnier brown for that. So we're gonna come in here, just do a little bit, a little, couple little eyebrows with the brown, and then I'm gonna go right back over with just a little, little bit of black so that they're not so crazy. Just like that. Make sure to doodle off your black so you get the brown off. Okay, so I've got to wait for my eye whites to dry there. Uh, let me look back at my drawing here. I guess they do usually have these little spots on their chest that are brown. So we'll get those on there. All right, I'm gonna let this dry completely, get those white eye whites dried so I can add in the, the dark pupils on them and he's pretty much gonna be done. So I'll let this dry, I'll be right back. All right, the eyes on here are nice and dry, so I'm gonna come back in with my black and add some nice big pupils on here. And then I'm gonna actually create the snout line. It's gonna cover a little bit of this back white because it's kind of set back behind the nose. Just a smidge, like that. Okay, he looks pretty cute. Like I said, basic, simple for beginners. If you're trying to make a dash hound, hopefully this will help you. Take it any color direction you like to personalize it to the kind that you have at home. And hopefully even just fixing that little mistake gives you a little bit of an idea that you know you can keep going if you make a mistake on your rock. I'm gonna add a couple more little ones that go up above the belly here of grass because he's playing outside. There we go. So don't give up on a rock just because you think you've messed it up. See if there's a way for you to fix it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We've got lots and lots of animal tutorials on the site. So pick another one to watch next and we'll see you soon with a new tutorial. Bye-bye.